Katie from Quimaca Outdoor School, and today's book is called The Rabbit Listened. Um, it's a little bit different than the other books we read here because um, it's not necessarily about nature, um, but it's about feelings. And I know some of us right now are having some, some feelings inside that we might not know what to do with, so hopefully this book might help you figure out what to do with some of those feelings. Maybe you are like the rabbit, um, and you are a good listener, and you can be a listener for somebody right now. Or maybe you're like the person in the story, Taylor, and you need someone to listen to you. So whatever you need, make sure you tell somebody, okay? The rabbit listened. Oh, this book is by Corey Deerfield, I think is how you pronounce that name. The Rabbit Listens by Corey Deerfield. One day, Taylor decided to build something. Something new, something special. Something amazing. Taylor was so proud. But then, out of nowhere, things came crashing down. Has that ever happened to you? The chicken was the first to notice. See the chicken? Cluck, cluck, what's a, what a shame. I'm sorry, sorry that this happened. Let's talk, talk about it. Cluck, cluck. But Taylor didn't feel like talking. So the chicken left. Next came the bear. Gar, rar, how horrible. I bet you feel so angry. Let's shout about it. Gar, rar, gar. But Taylor didn't feel like shouting. So the bear left. The elephant knew just what to do. Trumpa, I can fix this. What you need is to remember exactly the way things work. But Taylor didn't feel like remembering, so the elephant also left. One by one they came. The hyena, hee hee, let's laugh about it. The ostrich, oh, let's hide and pretend nothing happened. The kangaroo, tsk, tsk, what a mess. Let's throw it all away. And the snake, shh, let's go knock down someone else. But Taylor didn't feel like doing anything with anybody. So eventually, they all left until Taylor was alone. In the quiet, Taylor didn't even notice the rabbit. But it moved closer and closer until Taylor could feel its warm body. Together, they sat in silence until Taylor said, please stay with me. The rabbit listened. The rabbit listened as Taylor talked. The rabbit listened as Taylor shouted. The rabbit listened as Taylor remembered and laughed. The rabbit listened to Taylor's plans to hide, to throw everything away, to ruin things for someone else. Through it all, the rabbit never left. And when the time was right, the rabbit listened to Taylor's plan to build again. I can't wait, Taylor said. It's going to be amazing. Sometimes hugs say more than words the end. So I want you to think about how you are feeling right now. Do you feel more like Taylor and you just need someone to listen to you or do you feel more like the rabbit, someone who can listen? Because both of those things are important, especially right now. So if you can be a rabbit, be a rabbit. And if you need a rabbit, 
it's okay to go and find one. Think about who lives with you in your house. Do you have a parent or a sibling that could listen to you or that you can listen to? Do what you need to do. You got this. Have a good day.